bit of a wash there, eh? I'm used to it. Being in the moment. If I could speak to you individually, then I can communicate the moment. I can communicate the truth and listen to it. And with this technology, I have an opportunity to do that. I can speak to you directly, even though you're not in front of me. The camera's in front of me. But through it, we create somewhat of a connection. A real connection in one way. And a sort of lame connection on this end. Lame in that it's the true sense of the word. In my mind, I feel you in my mind as the collective consciousness. We have such different stories to tell, different ideas for what the background should look like. survival and understanding it understanding it so that we can survive it then surviving it surviving the journey it's not that to believe that we're not on the journey because we're safe in a house and that we don't have to worry about survival is the trap we are surviving we are constantly traveling and so we need to, we don't need to, we can learn to survive and become aware of it and how to survive. And I have something in my car I want to show you, but that means getting up and leaving a little bit of dead space on the video. So I'm going to do that and let your mind... into our bodies to make it move faster or harder and to learn to stretch the body to a place where it can be charged and still remain calm is important so that we can move around and through and under and over and know how to survive. All we need to survive is a flashlight. We can bring moisture into our bodies through the air. The light gives us truth. It gives us an opportunity to show someone themselves in a moment. If someone's to come up behind me and with empathic connection, I can understand why it's coming towards me. And if it's afraid, it's coming close to attack shine the light in its face any animal and it will be stunned and, and see itself in the moment and then with words we can couple the words with the light and command it to be feeble be still. Be on your knees. 
and really we have total control of what we do whether how we use it is up to us I think be on your knees is a little extreme I've given that example a few times but I would think if I was going to be attacked that's what I would do I would stun someone and they would it's not to be explained with words it's to be shown and so that's what I'll do this is video is just on my face right now to move with it to have the extension we fire electricity out of our bodies and we can use technology to extend that electricity is a foul a foul powerful force I was going to say powerful It will be important to survive. I think what's resisting right now is the change in belief that we can absorb moisture and through the air into our skin. I believe that we can come to a place where if we don't have any drinking water, we can absorb it through the air. It feels dry, but it's actually moist. And we can focus on the moisture and bring it in and then give it to each other and heal each other with moisture and electricity combined. Animate and give life to. and we can survive by being in the salt water. Our skin will filter the salt and we can take the water and through osmosis into our skin and survive just by being in the water. There's no need to drink it. It's just the most direct way to put it into your system is to drink it, but there's no need to drink it. We just need to moisturize our body, bring liquid in. Understand that you're, you can bring liquid in, in many ways, through the skin. The skin is a porous surface know the body, know the animal. We're animals. We're conscious explorers and we're monkeys or cousins of monkeys manipulating things, just incredibly intelligent, able to evolve, but monkeys, animals, we need, we can survive. We can communicate and learn a better way to navigate the future of the police force. It will not be a fear-based police force. It is now in the incarnation, and it will become something new, a police force of wisdom to communicate 